Pain is chipped and cracked all over the body with areas reduced to the underlying cardboard on his mouth, ears, and paws. There is a large piece that is chipped off his left proper side of his torso and a smaller piece off the right proper side of his rump. Both ears are very damaged with holes in the edges. Nipper is a paper mache dog that is approximately three and a half feet tall by one and a half feet wide. Nipper has several things that are in need of repair and because he is made from paper mache, so it's a very delicate uh, material, these are things that can be restored and that, and that can be preserved so that we can keep Nipper uh, for many, many, many years and that uh, he can be shown and enjoyed uh, here at Center in the Square and, and with the History Museum. Many Roanokers remember him. He is one of those iconic symbols of the retail era of downtown Roanoke. Nipper was uh, the trademark of the RCA Corporation and sat in the window of the Hobby Brothers Music Store on Church Avenue in downtown Roanoke. I mean, Hobby Brothers was one of the most prominent music stores in Roanoke. They carried a tremendous amount of records and was probably the largest music store in Roanoke uh, during that particular era. And so while it's a trademark of RCA, that particular dog sitting in Hobby Brothers' window for over 30 years really became a part of kind of the downtown Roanoke scene at that particular era and that particular moment in time. It harkens back to an era when downtown Roanoke was the retail center of this region. And not just the Roanoke region, but really all of Western Virginia. The 1950s was the pinnacle of retail and social activity in downtown Roanoke. So Nipper saw all of that, bore witness to that, was a part of that. And so it, it really kind of helps to represent an era of our retail and commercial history in downtown that we don't have to the degree that we once did. A lot of people today, if they grew up in Roanoke and, and lived at that time, it's going to take them right back to those days. When Hobby Brothers closed in 1982, the owners graciously donated Nipper to the collection of the Historical Society of Western Virginia because it was so prominent and so popular in downtown Roanoke. When businesses or individuals oftentimes donate items, once we become stewards of those items, restoration and preservation is not free. It does take staff, it takes curators, it takes people who can care for these objects in an appropriate way. And so Nipper helps us to tell that kind of larger story and that larger need. I did hear personally several Roanokers that had grown up here in the 50s and 60s comment about, I always wondered what happened to that dog. I, I wondered if that dog was still around. I remember that dog. And so again, the fact that we have it as a part of our collection here reinforced that we've got something very special because it's something that a lot of people can identify with and remember and can, and can connect with. Mm -hmm.